easily a half hour to get to Damascus if I if I do it the way that the game intentionally designed. So I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. That's kind of my goal right now. Let's get on a horse. And it sprints. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of Magii. Although, yeah, once again, the landscape is just gorgeous here. Love the work that they did with that. Damn camera angles. Let's go. Over the log. Sweet. Hopefully Damascus is not too far away. I will be trying to go for all the viewpoints. I don't know if I'm going to do all the missions in each city. I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to try to do uh, the minimum. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be saving... Create diversions with dead bodies. Yes. Soldiers will leave their Create diversions with dead bodies. I don't think I ever did that. This is now uh, King Richard's little courtyard slash kingdom. Here's your first viewpoint of the game. I'm going to do this once. I will try um, to, to cut out most of these because they're pretty much all the same. You know, it's just me climbing for a while. And then once we get to the top, which should be sh soon here, there we go. You can tell because it's marked on the map by a little hawk. There's usually a hawk flying around up here. Press E for Eagle Vision. And yeah, look at that. I mean, that's awesome. It's very nicely done. But now that we're done. Leap of faith off the top, land in a haystack, and continue on our merry way. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me either. Yes, this is known as the kingdom. Yes, I am aware. Alright, let's go. Now, th our marker is on the map there. You can see we need to go, looks like northeast, eventually don't care if they see me. Like I said, this is the part where people are probably going to get mad at me. Eh, wrong way. So we're going this way. There, we're probably going to spend most of the time here with people chasing me. They'll have to stop me on my horse though. And this thing is fast. There, yes, there are uh, visible plot walls in this, in this game. Here's another viewpoint. I believe this is another viewpoint. Yeah, viewpoint right here. So I'm gonna cut this out, climb to the top, and uh, I'll meet you back when I get up there. Alright, made it. Very, very nice. And once again, there are flags here. I believe there's a hundred in the kingdom. Uh, King Richard's flags. I don't know what the the reward is for getting all the flags. I heard it was just artwork. I don't I don't know that for sure though. Yeah, there's your sink bar if you do other things like um Yeah, don't care. This is the this is the screen when they're chasing you. I'm supposed to blend, but blending is incredibly slow. And then the blue dots on the map are all the all the spots I could hide. But I don't really feel like hiding. As you can see, sprinting through everything doesn't really have that much of a consequence until I have to get off and try to do something. I also will not be going for the Templars in the game. Just just throwing that out there. You know, just trying to go through the game. That's my main objective. Yeah, I have to go up this way. They're gonna spot me and start chasing me, but I'm on a horse. So they'll never catch me. Now in the later stages of the game, I will actually have to fight some of these people that chase me, but as for right now, I do not. Alright. 
off we go up another viewpoint. Viewpoint completed. I do like to keep these in because it looks like they put a ton of effort into these little cutscenes here, so I'm gonna keep the view from the top up here in. Jump into the haystack, which automatically puts me as hidden, and then once I come out, then we're good. They've apparently stopped chasing me. And it looks like I found a new horse. Uh, see, look, I mean, they're already saying I need to blend, which goes this slow. Yeah. That's not happening. What they eventually do is line up in the middle of the road and try to take me out. And they'll probably do it a few times and I'll have to fight them, but hopefully that doesn't happen before I get the counter upgrade because the counter upgrade makes things so much easier. So very much easier. Hop over this thing. And see, look, already it said that I had ran away from them. If you get far enough away, it doesn't matter. You don't need to hide or anything. They just eventually stop chasing you. Come on, go go left a little bit. <laughs> Way too far. And there we go. Made to Damascus. Use vigilantes you have freed to block your pursuers and break their line of sight. Now here I believe I need to exercise a little bit of caution because I would have to fight anybody that comes my way. But when I'm in the kingdom I really couldn't care less because I can just outrun them no matter what. Now that's Damascus. I mean Lots of effort into the background here. That's what I've seen, at least. Alright, here's our first save citizen. I'm going to try to do a lot of these because it really does help out in the long run, I've, uh, I've seen, at least. Alright, locking on to the first guy and stabbing him in the chest. Taking out my sword, getting into battle mode again. Damn it! Get my way, citizen! Why am I missing? There we go! And down he goes. Once again, those those go a lot better once you learn how to counter. Though slower. I am a true hero. Now go back being a citizen doing whatever it is that you do. And there are scholars over there. I have to get in line with them in order to sneak into the city. So let's go ahead and do that. Just press and circle and I'm automatically in line with the scholars. Sweet! And then once we're, back, we're inside the city I can break out and start killing people. They'll never see it coming. See, I mean, this is what a scholar is supposed to look like and then look at me. I've got a sword got a little harness on it. I, I've got this red sash that kind of stands out. But they never seem to notice that. They say I look exactly like these people. Maybe they just assume I'm higher up or I'm a hired guard or something like that. I don't know. I don't really follow the logic in this game. We just have to make it through this line right here, I believe. And then I can exit out and start doing my damage. Alright. Let's head for the... Uh, the Assassin's Bureau, like we were told to. Uh, save citizen. All right, let's let's handle this. Die. Die? No. Alright. Uh. There we go. Down he goes. Talk to this fat dude. What's up? Or at least. Oh no. He's got really high shoulders. 
That's what the last guy said. You guys don't even say something new every time. No, they don't. And what's that? One out of twelve citizens saved. Yeah, th I mean, there's so many. Not me! Don't don't follow the guy that, that's running away. I don't care about the scholars anymore. Here's a new looking um, viewpoint here. So let's go ahead and climb this one, our first one, in the poor district of Damascus. It looks a little different, but, you know, pretty much the same idea. We climb to the top. I always find it best to release the, sp the, the space button, because otherwise you might jump off into, into nothing. Very nice looking city, I must admit. And leap of faith. Oh no! Leap of faith to the death. See, this is what happens when you press spacebar sometimes. He just starts leaping off in random directions. It should reload me right on top of the viewpoint, I think. No, I'm inside, but I still get credit for the for the viewpoint, so I don't need to go back up. Let's see, none of these markers. Oh, there, there is one here. Uh, this is another saved citizen. I'm going to take care of this off screen. I'm going to kill all these guys. Be right back. Yeah, I think I'm just going to all those little things take, them care, take care of them off screen because really, I mean, we've seen it before. They're, they all look the same. And right now, especially they're, they're slow um, until I learn how to use a little bit more abilities. Let's climb up here. Oh, see, yeah, we'll learn about all that, oh, that kind of stuff right there later. We'll get there. Right now, I'm just heading for the Assassins Bureau, which is the uh, kind of teardrop shaped. I don't know what, what kind of shape that is, but that's what we're headed for. Yeah, you can start hearing all the citizens. You can hear. Uh, every time somebody gets into a fight, anything like that. See, this is the little symbol uh, for the Assassin's Bureau. Let's go ahead and go inside. The only in way in is through the roof. And then you go in here. It is good to see you. And in one piece, you as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. Now tell me where to find him. Surely you remember how to track an enemy. Of course. Learn where he will be and when. But that sort of work is best left for... I understand. Go and search the city. Determine what he's planning and where he works. Preparation makes the victor. What can you tell me of him? Tamir makes his living as a black market merchant, so the soup district should be your destination. I would suggest...